What's up guys, Tool Rubber here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Keeber. So yeah, as you can see, the packaging is high quality. It's not all boxed, it's not a bag, it's no blister packaging, it is a tin. Um, so yeah. Now, mine's not in the tin, it's actually all set up here. But I'll take it apart for the hell of this video. Now when you open it, You'll first get a card on top of this card. Uh, I'll probably leave a link down in the description for his Instagram. I don't have Facebook, so I'm not going to leave that there. But yeah, it is made in the US. So yeah, stop the noise. So when you get it, this actual piece, the keyboard itself, will be sitting on top. And you'll have a bag with your pocket clip. The screws also come in a bag, so you'll get two bags, one with your pocket clip, and the other will have your bolts and your washers. So yeah, there's three sets of bolts, there's larger ones, and then there's small, which come installed on the key bar itself, and then there's mediums, which I have installed right now. Now, the washers will come in already on the key bar itself so all the washers will be installed on this side and this side and you'll have a link a key fob link that is actually a motorcycle chain link so yeah now what i'll do is also you also get this here you get the setup how to set it up everything like that. Cleaning, you can actually use because it will get dirty over time. I see this scratches in mine, but it will get dirty over time. So you can just use Windex, as it says right in here, and a cloth or Marco Flower cloth, whatever the hell you have, um, just to clean it. Now the titanium actually looks really good when it's cleaned up. So what I'll do is I'll get a rag and I have Windex here so what I'm going to do is get one of my rags over here shit so what I'll do is just get a rag some Windex what you do is you take the Windex and you're going to wipe and see what it looks like right now See the blue, it's coming back, and it looks really nice when it's cleaned up. I'm gonna wipe it again. This is anodized titanium, which looks really cool. Uh, there's blue, there's silver, there's a mint green color. I think there's a purple, and there's a whole lack of other colors. This is the standard pocket clip. You can also order accessories like deep pocket carry clips and like there's a utility knife which I didn't get there's a pry bars and everything like that so the way it works is it keeps the keys all together for one it keeps the noise down so sorry for camera shake um so how to use it you just push your finger in and your keys fan out now I have three keys not really three but I count this as a key but this is this does not come with it. I put that on from an old multi-tool. It's a bottle opener slash screwdriver. I also put my key fob link there. You flip it over this side. I have three more keys with the pocket clip that goes to this little slot here. And it goes in there and it sits there. Now, the deep pocket carry clip, I'm pretty sure it goes, doesn't go through there. I'm pretty sure it goes just straight up and in. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll actually check right now. Let me see here. Okay, so what I'll do for the hell of this video is take it apart and show you what it looks like when you first get it. I got a washer here. Keep all this together. Now, 
Oh yeah, this is my new Leatherman Wave Plus. I'll show you. I'll have a video up pretty soon about it. A review. A re-unboxing, because I already unboxed it. So what you do... Is you gotta unscrew this. Oh, we got a mess. Okay, so this is the medium sized bolt. Um, here's the o ring I was talking about before. That goes right in here and keeps this, keeps the bolt from loosening up because after a while they will loosen up and that just keeps it down from loosening, I'm guessing. Now, as you can see, this is countersunk. So it, that also helps keep them from like rattling around, I guess, and it also makes it look nice. Now this is also anodized aluminum. This is laser engraved, which looks really good. Um, yeah, so... Fuck it. This is what it looks like. You get all these... Okay, here's the link I was talking about. This is an old mo so I'm guessing it was... Yeah, that is like the motorcycle link hole itself, and then he just machined them out bigger. I'll take it all apart for this video. Try not to lose any parts, anything like that. I gotta say, it looks really good. There is, oh, I got the distressed American flag one. There was a green one. There was this one, the blue one. Um, he just made another one uh, sometime this week. A black one looks looks really good. Um, okay, so. There's that. Sorry for the camera angle, guys. Let me get that tin out of the way. So there's the two bolts with the O-rings. Here's your spacers, my keys. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Key bar. Looks really nice. Here's the back side. Like that. Um, so, I like it a lot. It feels really good in the pocket, too. Here's that pocket clip I was telling you about. This is all titanium, anodized. So, and there's that slot. So, basically, it goes in like this. Like that. Now, these are also where the threads are. My camera's messed up, I think. Sorry for the lighting, my Philips Hue light strips actually leave light marks on there, I guess. Okay, here's how you set it up. So you're going to choose what size bolt you want. Then you're going to put the O-ring on it. You're going to put it in there. I like to do one side first. So this side is the back side. So the back side I like to put... Oh, I'll use my tweezers here. I'd like to put a washer. I like to put a washer and then I like to put the bigger keys first, so. Okay, I like to usually start off. Okay, I'm gonna do this side first because it's gonna be easier. Okay, so that side, so I have my keys so they fan out that way, so I want the teeth going in. Okay, so you're going to take a washer, you're going to stick it on top there, and then I like to go put the key in first, now, now it'd be easier if you had circle keyholes instead of square like mine, because you have to machine them out and drill them out and all that shit. Actually, it's... I like to put two on the bottom. Two on the bottom. Key, then a washer in between. Uh, then... Q. 
key, then you put your other key, then a washer. Then, what is this one? And then a washer. There's another washer and then your quick your key fob link. Fuck. Uh, fuck off. Okay, then this. And then let's see two. Six. Two four six. That. And you're gonna take this half. You're gonna line it all up, and then you're gonna screw it in. Not the best screwdriver for the job, I gotta say, because it's weird holding it. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now I like to start this side, which I like to fan the keys. And I did it backwards. Don't worry about it. I'll fix that later. Like this. Fuck off. You guys are wondering where I went, why I wasn't uploading for, I'd say, like a year. It's just because, you know, I really didn't, you know, like it, I guess you could say. I was just doing whatever I wanted, you know. Like hanging out with friends, biking, doing all that stuff, and I am still in school, so. You know, I gotta do school before YouTube, and it's, you know. It's hard to juggle all that stuff because you know I have homework, I have to study. It's just annoying. Ugh. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Okay, here we go. Is that that? And then it's a key. Three, and then your pocket clip will go through like this, and it goes up, and you kind of pry it, I'd say. So you gotta make sure that pocket clip... I probably shouldn't be swearing because YouTube will be friggin' wanna take down my video. So I'm probably gonna have to bleep it out, but you know, I ain't bleeping nothing out. I'm really only making these for fun. I really don't, uh, I really don't care if they take it down or not. Because well, guess what? I'll just fucking make a new new. If they take down my channel because I have curse words in my videos, then guess what? I'll just make another channel. And what I'll do, take all the videos and add them to the new channel. So, I really don't care. They can't stop me. They ain't my mother or my dada. Okay, so that's what it should look like. You can tighten these up to whatever you want. Now, usually, if I would have done it, because before these teeth of the keys were facing the side here, I would take them and flip them out, but it's supposed to go like that, flip out your key you want, and it's so much easier instead of having, like, a ring of keys. So that is the review on the key bar. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications. I'll leave a link to where you can get these down in the description. He has his own website. Uh, it's called Key Bar. Dot us exactly what it says on the tin so yeah join the key bar army peace out